We're going to do a square construction, which is pretty easy. It's actually um, a bit like the octagon construction, except uh, we don't do as much. So you're going to start out with a segment of arbitrary length, and you're going to do the perpendicular bisector of that segment. So you want to do your compass, uh, stretch it so that it's a little bit more than half, two-thirds, three-quarters of the way, and you're going to do a swipe from one side, and you're also going to do a swipe from the other side and then you're going to draw in your perpendicular bisector so that'll mean connecting the two endpoints for uh, or the two intersection points of your arcs rather and then you're going to start a circle um, right at the intersection point but you're going to make sure that the circle is small enough to hit all four sides on the way around so you gotta shrink it up there we go and now I'm hitting one two three and four and the four places where it hit uh, where your circle hits your to your sides are the place where you are going to draw your segments to so you've got one two three four spots if you connect them uh, what you're going to do is end up with a regular quadrilateral, which is also known as a square. And the square already has the diagonals drawn in, and you can see that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other, and there's a couple other things going on. Uh, we know that the diagonals are the same length because a square is a rectangle and we also know that the diagonals bisect each other, cut each other in half. So since they're the same length and they cut each other in half, we know that that is the same as that, is the same as that, is the same as that. And we also know the outside segments are all congruent to each other because it's a rhombus. Uh, rhombus and a square both have that uh, those, that characteristic. Um, so the other thing to recognize here is you end up with a bunch of right isosceles triangles and we know that a right isosceles triangle has to be a 45-45-90. Um, the other thing to note is there's actually eight 45-45-90 uh, triangles. There's these one, two, three, four small ones and then we've got one big one and then we've got another big one um, that's a you know another right isosceles triangle and you've got a third big one and then a fourth big one so there's four smaller 45 45 90s and four larger 45 45 90s and that's good to know uh, for when you see problems involving a square and its diagonals